In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate internal pull-up resistances. Now, in a previous video that I've shown you, I have basically indicated that I'm making use of an external resistor here, uh, which if you have to take that as part of the a circuit diagram, this takes space and it's a, a small cost involved also. So if we can basically transfer this pull up re uh, this resistance to be a pull-up resistance, which is inside the microcontroller, we can save a little bit of space and also a little bit of development price on a uh, PC board. So um, let us go and look at what is happening or how can this how can this be done. So if you look at the uh, this circuit diagram that we've got here, this is exactly what I've done before. You have I've I've got this. Uh, up resistance it's not connected to pc3 in my case i actually connected that to pc0 but externally this is where it's sitting so what we want to do is we want to transfer this to this internally so that it sits here so the only uh, connection that you've got externally is a switch to to ground for instance and let us look at how this can be done if i look at this slide that i've got here you will see that if the switch is open this resistor will actually be deactivated uh, and I have to make use of it externally. So as soon as I can close the switch and this is done in software and I'll show you just now how can that be done. But what you need to do is on a specific pin on port, you have to make it a one. As soon as you make it a one, you actually close the switch and this internal resistance becomes part of uh, the circuit diagram, but now it's internally. So if I, if uh, for instance, if nothing is connected on this on this uh, external pin, that means this VCC will be read on the pin uh, register PIN register, and if ground is placed here, then I'll uh, I'll measure or read ground on this uh, or low on this uh, register PIN. So this is quite nice. It's either connected to ground, and if you remove the ground pin, it's connected to plus VCC internally. And this is the whole aim of what I want to do in this video. So if I can go to my program, um, this was a program that I have used uh, previously. So this is the one that I've used. Uh, this is just to set up uh, port B again as an output. And uh, port, uh, this is PB5, of course. And uh, this is PC0. This is to set it up as an input. Now, what you have to do now, as soon as this thing has been set up as an input, uh, what you need to do is basically directly, let me, I've already copied it here. Let me just remove it from there and place it inside my program. And let me remove the comment section. So as soon as you've made a pin an input, directly after that, you must go and write something to port C. Um, which we have basically done here now. So DDRC port zero or pin zero directly after that port C you must write uh, in this case a one because if we or it I'm going to write a one to pin number zero or PC zero. So and by using these two statements here I can actually create an input but also pull up uh, enable the pull-up resistance. So if I can go back to that uh, previous slide, which I had here, you will s actually see that, uh, let me just, yeah, here it is. So previously, if we used a DDR uh, whatever pin, uh, it could be DDR, sorry, whatever port, DDR, B, C, or D, um, if we made a specific pin A1, um, if we made it a one, it was an output. And if we directly after that wrote port that uh, a zero to that specific pin, it gave us a zero out. If we wrote a one, it gave us a one out. But now if we make this pin, a specific pin, a zero, that is an input. So if you write on that same pin to port to the the, the port pin a zero it's actually high impedance it's got no effect but if you write a on port 
that specific pin if you write a one you activate the pull up so let's just quickly check again so and that's what exactly what i've done on ddrc i made it a zero to make it an input and then we wrote a one to that same pin so if we go to the program you'll see exactly what i mean so on ddrc we've made that pin uh, a zero we've made pin zero a zero meaning that's an input and then directly after that if we write a one to that specific same pin we act actually enabled the pull up resistance so i'm not going to go into too much depth uh, with this thing so now i'm again just testing pc zero and if it's a one i want to have a, a flash of 200 milliseconds in other words 200 on 200 off and if it's a if it's a low it's got to be a one second delay in other words one second on one second off so on my hardware if i go to the hardware now i can actually remove the resistance um, i need to program uh, if i go and program my arduino in this specific case external sorry program using the arduino there it's programmed and if you look at my flashing of the led now uh, let's just get here you will see that that wire of mine which is actually this wire of mine sitting here it's connected to ground and it's not connected to pc zero which is the one sitting there um, so in other words internally now the resistor is the pull up resistor is activated meaning that if nothing is connected to P A0 there or the same as PC0 that means the LED is flashing as you can see there at let me just switch off this light then maybe you can see a little bit better it's it's flashing at 200 millisecond intervals and if I connect this wire here uh, to PC0 you will see that it now changes and there's because now I'm connecting a zero to PC0 now it's flashing at one second on one second off and the nice thing is i've just got one wire which means if it's open it's an open switch or removed it's an open switch if not and if i close it uh, then uh, it's a zero being placed on pc zero and this is how you activate a pull-up resistor then thank you